Uncle, please tell me how the Kingdom of Morocco destroyed Songhai. How the Kingdom of Morocco destroyed Songhai? After the death of the last true emperor of Songhai, Askia Muhammad, Songhai became a true slave state under the leadership of Askia Ishak II. And the Portuguese slave trading post at Sao Tome in Sao Salvador crippled the trans-Saharan slave trade and opened the door for the horrific transatlantic slave trade. The Songhai region was hit by instability, frequent slave raids, plagues, and syphilis brought by the European traders. In 1549, the new Saudi dynasty took the North African Kingdom of Morocco, flirted with apocalypse and won. They seized the Portuguese forts and trading posts on the Moroccan coasts and expelled them. In return, King Sebastian waged a war on Morocco and came on a campaign with his entire royal court. But out of surprise, the Moroccans overpowered and defeated the Portuguese and killed their king and nobles in the battle. War is expensive, and this one had emptied the coffers of the poor Moroccan sultan, and to replenish his treasury, he fixed his choice down south. They heard that there is a mountain of gold in Songhai, and also planned to take the salt mines of Takhaza. Judah Pasha, a Spanish boy captured by Moroccan slavers, raised in the service of the sultan, and rose to become a great general, was chosen for the Songhai job. With a small army of about 40,000, most of whom are Spanish mercenaries against the hefty Songhai army and the gruesome task of crossing the Sahara with their equipment. It took them four months to cross the Sahara and most of them had died on the journey. In crossing the mosquito infested swamps of the Niger River, more of them died of malaria and their dwindling numbers could tell in whose favor the battle would go. But don't be quick to judge. The Moroccan invaders had secret weapons, which the leaders of Songhai had ignored for years. Guns and gunpowder, an invention from China. Finally, they made it to the city of Gao, where they saw the great Songhai army march out in great numbers. They heard rumors of the magic weapons the Moroccans brought, and the strategy they came up with to neutralize the gunfire was an insult to the military intelligence Sunni Ali and Askia Muhammad were noted for. They sent several heads of cattle to march on the Moroccan setup to stampede and absorb the gunfire before they finished them off. But according to the chronicle Tariq al fatash the cattle marched on the Moroccans, but when they heard the sound of cannons, they panicked and rather ran towards the Songhai army killing a huge number of them. The Songhai infantry charged, but with a good position on the high ground and constant firepower, they were neutralized. The emperor Askia Ishak II got scared and escaped from the battle. The Songhai cavalry advanced, but because the sound of gunshot was new to the horses, they also fled in fear. Judah Pasha and his men took the valuables of Gao, burned the city and moved to Timbuktu and Jenny, seized the treasures and burned the cities as well. The Moroccans tried to build their own empire in the area but failed due to the obstacle the Sahara posed. Judah Pasha returned to Marrakesh with loads of treasures after his nine years raid of Songhai. He was given 30 camel loads of gold as payment. Songhai finally fell and its powers collapsed. The imperial age had ended and it broke into smaller villages and chiefdoms and European colonizers took advantage of their weakness and began their unending exploitation streak. This is how Songhai, Africans greatest empire fell. Uncle, you always surprise me with amazing stories. Thank you very much for this story. Thanks for watching. Support us by following our pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting contents.